When you are choosing a web host plan, for example, in HostGator, you can go to either baby plan or business plan. So baby plan is something like a normal, typical web host plan, which I would recommend, or an upgrade version web host plan, which is the business plan. So what are the main difference between these two plans, which are the private SSL and IP. So I'm going to explain the terms later on. For Bluehost, they have Plus Plan and the Prime, which is the upgrade one, and the GoPro. So you can see the additional features provided by the GoPro Plan are the dedicated IP address and the SSL certificate. While for the GoDaddy, in the Ultimate Plan, they provide you additional feature, which is the SSL certificate. So right now you need to understand what is SSL and IP and also asking yourself whether do you need them in your website. This is the key factor. So firstly IP stands for Internet Protocol. Probably you heard it, you know it, what it means. So every device's internet word has its own IP address and also a website also has IP address given by the domain name server which is the DNS. So give you an example my domain name which is jbjtmarketers.org if you go to one of the IP checker in the internet they can show you your IP address so you can see that this IP address is from my host gator server which they have their own DNS. So you will see that some of the web host providers they provide you a lump sum package an all in one package where they can provide you a web host and also domain name server and this is so good about these amazing providers. So you have to understand that IP address is a way to identify your website in the domain name server. Well, for SSL, it stands for Secure Socket Layer. Well, SSL is a secure socket layer and it is a protocol that basically encrypt connection between the user and the server. It also try to establish a secure connection between visitors who are visiting your website and the server that basically host your website. So normally dedicated IP address is required to have this SSL certificate or sometimes we see web host providers say that I can provide you a SSL certificate even though you have a shared IP address. So that's not the case. And if you want to use SSL certificate and IP address, it is most suitable for a business website or e-commerce website. I will explain it later on with photos and pictures so you can understand more in a layman term. But firstly, you need to understand how SSL and IP work in DNS and web server. So DNS stands for domain name server. So for example, if a visitor want to visit your website, they type in the name of your website, which is www.jbinnovator.site, for example. So when visitors type in the name, it will send a signal to your web server, for example, GoDaddy, uh, Bluehost, in this case will be HostGator. So once they got the information, they will send the request to a domain name server to tell the server, hey, I need to access to this website. Here's the domain name. Please give me your IP address. So this is how IP address comes to the picture. So once the web server got the IP address, which is the strings of number, for example, 108.167.183.6. So once it got the information on the IP address, it will show to the visitors the interface of your website, the front end of your website, the appearance of your website. So IP address can be either 
shared or dedicated. Shared means you're sharing IP address with other websites which you don't know. Well, dedicated IP address is that you have your own unique IP address. So you see that most web host providers can give you SSL certificate even though you have a shared IP address. So for SSL certificate, it's all about whether web host going to give you this kind of secure connections. So when visitors visit your website, they will see a secure padlock sign. And when they see that, they will feel more secure when they want to submit credit card information, payment details, or other information which are sensitive. So you probably get confused about SSL or IP. I don't want to explain in a technical terms. So right now I'm going to show you the difference of a website that doesn't have SSL certificate and a website that has SSL certificate. So let's say you have your online store website with no SSL and this is going to show it on your address bar saying that your website is not secure. And this is how it looks like an online store website that doesn't have a secure connection. So if you are a visitor, are you willing to buy things on this website that has no SSL? Because so most of the Internet Explorers such as Google Chrome and Mozilla Firefox, they can detect whether this website has SSL certificate or not. So when you see this, you probably don't feel secure to buy things from these kind of website. You're not willing to submit your credit card information, right? So what if for an online store website that has SSL certificate, you will basically see a very small padlock sign at the address bar when you're using Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, or Mozilla Firefox. You will see something like this. When it goes to the payment page, you will see a secure connection. You can actually click on it and see whether this website is secure or not. You will see the Google Chrome will tell you, hey, your information, for example, password, credit cards information, and card numbers are private. So it is secure to put in the information in this website. It is fine. So I think you got the big pictures of what is SSL and what is IP address, right? So right now, it's up to you whether you want to go for SSL certificate and IP address. So right now, for sure, if you are buying a web host in HostGator, which I'm going to use it in the future tutorials, please don't buy Hatchling Plan. As I told you previously, always go for unlimited domain and unmetered bandwidth features, right? So right now, it's up to you whether you want to go for SSL and IP address or not. So if you want to build a personal blogging website or a normal business website where people can go to your website and see more information just for sharing knowledge or information details where there are no sensitive information that need to submit by the visitors, it's okay to buy baby plan because you don't really need private SSL. So what if you want to build a legit business website a membership platform website or e-commerce website where people are going to buy things inside your website. This is important and this is a must. So I'm going to emphasize this is a must that you need to go for SSL certificate and dedicated IP address. This is how you make sure visitors are feeling secured that they want to buy things from you. So when they visit your website, they are more secure to submit their credentials such as credit card numbers or payment details.